Hello everyone, this is Ketan from VLSI and today I am gonna guide you through Vivado installation. So come to any browser, uh, yeah, so I have chose Google uh, Chrome and then here search Vivado download. Then go in the download sections and then you can see AMD Unified Installer and please uh, please verify that it's Windows Self Extracting Web Installer. So yeah, click on this. It would ask for sign in. If you have a if you have an account, it's well and good. But if you don't have, then yeah, go on to Kidiate account. Then yeah, you can fill in your details. Then yeah, you can you can write your you can write any email ID. I will write my college email ID and then location India. I am not a robot. Yeah. So after uh, filling in the correct details, click on the submit button. So after clicking on submit button, you would be asked to submit an access token. So paste it and then password so, so there are certain requirements for a password creation like there are four uh, main requirements yeah so you must your password must fulfill all the requirements then it would be a good password and then only your account creation would be successful yeah so i'm writing So if password matches yes, and then choose I am not a robot. So yeah, after captcha is checked, then activate account. So yes, your account has been created. Now uh, go to the sign in, and then so after clicking on sign in, sign sign in with the same email ID and password which you have just created, and then sign in. So, so after signing in, they would ask for some details. So in company name, you have to write your college name. In address name, uh, your address, yeah, doesn't matter whatever you give. Uh, and you can leave address to black, state, your state, your city, and you can leave postal code black, phone number blank. And then in job function, you can select student. So after filling in all the correct details, Please click on download option. And yeah, your files start getting downloaded. So yeah, just click once on this, then yes. Yeah, they would be extracting. And after extraction is complete, uh, they would load this window. Hello. So yeah, just wait for some time. Yeah. So next, here you have to choose download image, and you have to yeah you can choose any path. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I would choose different path where I have more storage. So yeah, after writing your correct email ID and password and choosing the correct path and yeah, you should select these options only next. So yeah, you have to install Vivado. So Vivado next. Yeah. And choose Vivado MLE standard because it's the no cost and yeah. So yeah, use this one if you just want to use uh, MLE standard. Yeah, but in this you can see Vitis LHS implementation, yeah, which are of no use. So, yeah, you can use Vivado ML standard. Yeah, you can choose your preference. So, next, yeah, here uh, the board which I have. So, I have Ultra Scale, Ultra Scale Plus, and you can remove Doc Nav, 7 series, SOCs, and this, yeah. So 34.19 GB and then yeah, you can also 
also select kriya soms and then next then download so yeah your download has been started it would take half an hour or like the other time it depends on your internet speed hmm. so yeah it will take 2 hours according to my internet speed so so yeah after installation is complete you would see this pop up download image has been created successfully then click on okay yeah so after installation is complete uh, come to the same folder where you have directed the path for installation so it would be vivado i have directed d vivado so it is here yeah so yeah um, scroll down to bottom and there would be x setup so double click on that yes so a pop up window would come wait for it for some time and then next then next agree yeah agree to all and then next now again you have to choose the path where you have ample amount of space so yeah i would again select d this pc d and here vivado folder is already there so yeah in which you have installed the installer so we ca we cannot use the same folder so create folder and we cannot name it also the same so vivado one and then open yeah so it has selected vivado one then you may select uh, all user it depends on your choice yeah it is better if you select for all user hmm. but i am selecting for current user only next and then install so yeah this installation would take some time and then uh vivado icon would uh, be created in your desktop yeah i would show them uh, once they are created so yeah when this installation is complete yeah it took 10 minutes to install file so another window will pop up license manager so yeah uh, just close this just close this uh, it would not cause any problem so yeah close this yeah yes and then it would like in for in my case uh, install win pcap for ethernet hardware connection so yeah uh, i didn't have this so it would ask for for a connection so i would be setting up i agree install finish so yeah this would be final processing and you can see after this installation is complete uh, you would see vivado icons and and like yeah let me let me guide you yeah you can see vitis vitis model composer and vivado so yeah this one is your required required vivado yeah ignore these two and yeah you can see this vivado is installed so it would still take some time uh, final processing and after this final processing is done yeah you can uh, safely open vivado so you can see installation completed successfully so okay so yeah one thing i need to mention like uh, the file you have just created like this one uh, vivado 1 where you have kept the installer now you can successfully delete it yeah just check whether vivado is working or not so yeah open vivado it would take some time hmm. because uh, it is a heavy software so it takes some time to open up so i think vivado is working perfectly yeah i would guide you how to create project and uh, do codes to very log codes on this in next video so yeah now you can successfully delete that particular folder this installer yeah you can delete this delete yeah so you can see the vivado folder is successfully deleted and it would also not be visible in the recycle bin because the folder was particularly too big of 37 gb so yeah there is no such folder so yeah and also you can see vivado is working working perfectly fine and yeah you can do any hdl or vhdl code in this so yeah thank you everyone for being there till the end